Melody Bell's record 14 Group 1 wins make her a welcome inductee to the Racing Hall of Fame. That stellar career also made Melody Bell one of the great syndicate success stories in New Zealand. She was bred and raised by former Hall of Fame director Marie Lester, who'd been sending her mares to Honui Farm since 1983. 57 and a half, up, all done, I sell her at 57,500. Goes to David Ellis, thank you David. Tiaka bought and trained the commands out of Malika Bell Philly specifically for John Galvin's Fortuna Syndicate. Melody Bell showed early talent, winning the first trial and then her first race at Ruakaka. They weren't beginner's luck. Melody Bell won the Karaka Million with style. Melody Bell holding them. Hasahalo and Felton Road can't get it. Melody Bell for Fortuna wins the Karaka Million. It's a wonderful race to win. It's the third time we've had a Fortuna runner in the race. The first two ran down the track. So I guess it's the third time lucky. She backed that up with her first Group 1, the Manawatu Sires Produce Stakes. The stable knew they had a champion and nicknamed her Valerie after Olympian Valerie Adams. Melody Bell justified the moniker with the two-year-old Horse of the Year title. That success was significant for a group of 34 people spread across New Zealand. They were the Melody Bell Syndicate. She blossomed in her four-year-old season, starting at the Hawke's Bay Spring Carnival. She claimed her second and third Group 1 victories in the first two legs of the Triple Crown, the Tarzino Trophy and the Windsor Park Plate. Melody Bell was spelled until the new year, when she added three more Group 1 titles, the Waikato Sprint, Otaki's Honui Classic and the Bone Crusher Stakes. A sensational season of five Group 1s ensured the Horse of the Year title would be in the trophy cabinet. How do you better a standout season? Melody Bell did it by becoming the first horse to win the Triple Crown, the Tarzino Trophy, the Windsor Park Plate and the Livermole Spring Classic in five weeks. Here it comes, nine Group 1 wins and she is going to be dancing to her destiny. Melody Bell wins the first of the Triple Crown. It's great the way it's worked out and Jamie Richards has done an incredible job training this filly uh, to win all these races and it's one of the great days that I've had on a race course. That was a record nine Group 1s in New Zealand. It was time to snatch some Australian glory in the Empire Rose Stakes at Flemington. But now Melody Bell is flying home. Aristia at the 150. Here comes the Kiwi star. Melody Bell up to Aristia. Melody Bell takes Aristia. What a funny bear, a mighty bear. Melody Bell has won it by a length and a quarter Aristia. Uh, mate, to be here at Flemington, one of the great racetracks in the world, on one of the best race days of the world. And for us to come over with New Zealand with our body mare and win a, a Group 1 race, it just doesn't get better than that. Another four Group 1 victories in her five-year-old season cemented Melody Bell's second Horse of the Year title. The Fortuna Syndicate always indicated that Melody Bell's sixth season would be her last. She didn't disappoint her fans. The Hawke's Bay winning streak continued with a third Windsor Park Plate victory and back-to-back -back wins in the Livermore. Melody Bell equaled the Great Sunlines record of 13 Group 1s at Trentham in the Thorndon Mile. The record 14th came in the Bone Crusher Stakes at Ellerslie. It's Melody Bell, Avontage and Tiptronic. Melody Bell, ring the bell, Melody's back in town. And that is 14 Group 1s, the all-time greatest winning Group 1 winner in the history of New Zealand racing here. She's done it, Melody Bell. She's such a wonderful mare, honestly. Words can't describe what she's done for my career, uh, what she's done uh, for Fortuna, for Tiakia, for everybody concerned, and we can't thank her enough. The Group 1 record holder finished her career with 19 wins, a second and six thirds from 41 races. Those victories over five seasons, ranging from sprints to staying races, earned $4.2 million. The syndicate rejected offers to buy Melody Bell while she was racing. A new career beckoned in retirement. Melody Bell went to Australia's Magic Millions, where the Yulong stud bought her for $2.6 million. Her first foal was a healthy filly out of Ritten Tycoon. Melody Bell will long be remembered for her record-breaking feats. A champion horse who took many people along for the ride of their lives.